Many of us are looking for freedom in our lives, freedom from our past, freedom from challenging thoughts and circumstances. We want to feel joyful always, get out of those difficult situations we have. We want to know that we are always deeply loved. But how do we do it? What is the way? In this video, I will share the one technique, which is really the technique that is all techniques. Or you might say the meta technique for finding the freedom that you've always wanted, that is truly yours to have in your life. So let's get into it now. There are multiple techniques out there for finding freedom, and they all have value. You may have tried guided meditation, some form of self-analysis, emotional release, um, cognitive behavioral techniques, inner child healing, um, or parts therapy. Um, but what is the common element of all of these and the other techniques that many people talk about? What is the one thing that they support the individual in actually doing? So the answer to that is that in the end, these techniques are all about letting go of something. We all need to let go of many things. These techniques support people to let go of thoughts. Some others support in letting go of beliefs. Others support you to let go and to release emotion or to resolve some form of inner conflict to let that go as well. So the one technique that will free you from your past and bring freedom to your life is to relax and to open up to life that it may flow through you. The technique of all techniques, the meta technique, is to open within so that life can live freely through you. It may seem quite simplistic, but if you learn this technique, if you persevere in learning what it means for you to let go and to open within to life that is happening around you, you will issue and allow freedom and life to flow in you. In our day to day, we can become aware of when there is tension within us, when we are actually closing to life and putting up barriers within. In those moments, we use this technique. We breathe, we relax. We release the closing, the resistance within, and we open up to the life that we are observing around us and the life that is flowing to us. As we develop this technique, we get better and better at it and our lives become freer and freer. Learn this technique to bring you to freedom in your life. To reinforce this technique, I want to offer to you two analogies about how life works. Think of life firstly as flowing water. Water is life. And think of yourself as a tap or a, or a faucet, um, you might say, you might call it. Um, and when the tap is closed, the water doesn't flow through the tap. It doesn't run out into the sink or, or into a bottle or wherever it may choose to go. So your life is like this tap. When you're closed, the water doesn't flow. But when you open the tap, the water can freely move through. It always wants to move through. It has always got that potential to move through. But it is when the tap is open that the water flows through. And also, you can open the tap a little bit and let a little bit of water flow through, or you can open it more 
and allow more water to flow through. Or you can allow it to be fast flowing, open it fully so that the water of life fully flows through and gushes out and into the sink and brings a life with it that it is able to bring. Okay. And then the second analogy that I want to offer is of life as light. So light moves at the speed of light very, very quickly. It, it spreads out in all directions. But think of yourself, your body, your being as a window that has shutters on it. And those shutters can be closed. They can be flattened down and closed. And when that happens, the light cannot get through the window and out into the other out to the other side. Yet the light again has that potential to flood and to go out, but it is stopped by the barrier of the closed shutters on the window. And again, you can open the shutters. You can choose with an act of will to open the shutter and allow a little light to go through. And then you can move it more and more and more until the window is fully opened and the, the light floods out to the other side. I'm offering to you these two examples, um, these two analogies to help you understand what we do on our day to day. Um, the question we need to ask ourselves are, is, are we closing the tap? Are we closing the shutters so that life, so that the water, so that the light cannot go through? Um, freely. And when we see that, we need to recognize that that is our choice of will. And we can release and let go and open the tap, open the shutters fully so that life can truly express itself through us. So this is our one technique of relaxing and opening within to the moments of our life throughout our days. This is the one technique that will support us in finding the freedom that we long for and knowing freedom from our past and whatever we feel we need to be free from. It allows life to be issued and to flow fully through us. But I recognize that this needs us to trust that life has good for us and that in not closing, we are not opening ourselves up to trouble and difficulty. The reason we often close within is to protect ourselves, but that protection is actually what limits us. And that is the paradox within, um, the paradox that we have to live with and, and reconcile from to find the freedom that we want in our lives. Michael Singer, um, has said the following, you have to want to free yourself from yourself more than you want to get what you think's going to make you okay. So when we close the tap, when we close the shutters, what we are doing is trying to get what we think will make us okay. In some ways, we feel we're protecting ourselves from this light or this water we don't fully trust that it will give us what we want or it will support us in our goals but we want we need to want to free ourselves from ourselves more than we want to get what we think will make us okay and this is what this technique is about it is about opening to life and allowing that freedom to issue through us. And I encourage you to take steps to learn it more and more in your day today. I leave you with that today. Um, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel um, for more videos about transformation, about fr finding freedom in our lives and about exploring consciousness. Um, I really hope you have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you again soon.